What's up, fool? What's up, fool? Podcast. Welcome, everybody. We've been gone for one week. You're telling, you're asking yourself, "Hey, wait, man, we didn't have a podcast this week." Come on, man. We gave you two in one week. <laughs> we gave you uh, Richard Pryor's wife, Jennifer Lee Pryor, Jennifer Lee Pryor, and the, the one before that. Dante well, Elefante. The day Dante before. Elefante. Yeah. Back to back, dude. Who, who went to his show? Who went to his yeah. show? There were a lot of people there. I heard it there. was packed. Yeah, it looked packed I think in the sold it out, dude. At the Velasco, right? Yeah. And he, Velos- was, he was nervous about that size place because he hadn't done a theater yet. Little videos size. on his page look like he rocked that shit. Yeah. That's a cool spot. Ha, 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 ha. Call me on the... I love my, my favorite song is... um Is um, Don't Trust a Junkie. Yeah, it's a badass song. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, I love it. It's Super cool, cool dude. I, I like that style of music. But yeah, everybody should check out the full band, too, because... They couldn't all get to here together. Yeah, um, uh, just on great. that song, um, on that song, you call me on the phone by Don Telefante. There's a solo electric piano that's so, that similar to like the way Paul McCartney plays, but you could just hear a solo of, of the electric piano. Man, it's he, he had, it's some good ass music, bro. Yeah, it's like super cool, like like indie rock. Fanboy over here, right? Because <laughs> yeah. one cool thing about the show he had in L.A., he brought back the original lineup. You went? No, we talked about it here on the podcast. But. Like, he's cool, man. Yeah. Also, um, after uh, after he came on the podcast, homeboys had me uh, on their podcast, Un Poquito Pod Podcast, because, like, hey, dude, we saw that our uh, Dante, La- uh, Dante Lafonte was on the podcast. They need a poquito Shout out to Un Poquito Mas, man. The homie, yeah, Dominic and uh, his Ryan, brother dude. Brian, Ryan, yeah, super, man. super cool podcast. Those guys are cool, dude. Yeah, I want. I still haven't seen uh, Ryan do um, stand up, but he does stand up every once in a while. He's funny, dude. He's if you guys go up, uh, check him out, man. They do a show that every once in a while. They perform at that show with um, that dude in West Covina. What's his name? The Chatterbox, Stephen Hernandez. Uh, Stephen Hernandez, the Chatterbox. So that spot's been like popping more recently because how of, many uh, years now? Like, if, as far as you know, like that's the t- longest. Stand up show like in LA uh, that you know about? I think in LA County, yeah, dude. It's been probably like, om- like almost 10 years, dude. So, um. Starter Gate's still going. Sorry. <laughs> hey, Starter Gate, what's that? That's hey, Cochino. Cochino, bro. He still has it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, has it? no neck, bro. Yeah. yeah, fool. No way. So that's probably like one of the longest ones, no? Probably. I mean, as far as like, eh, what's like, you know, yeah. Seven, uh, like, you know to, I like Cochino because everything he says comes from the heart because it's so close to his, you know, he has Don't no choke me. <laughs> He's still around, bro. He's still, yeah. <laughs> With no, <laughs> with no neck, bro. Some fool told me, he's like, yeah, man, I went to a show. And I told him, hey, my homie Rodrigo Torres. And he looked at me all weird. <laughs> his, 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 it just came to yeah. mind just because the longest running out of show. His ears touch his shoulders, bro. Like, that's a, <laughs> dude, you got wax on your shoulders? What the fuck, What, dude? what um, city is that show? Los, Los Alamitos, right? Which is the yeah. last city in L.A. County before it hits uh, OC. OC. The OC. That's like yeah. the gate with the OC, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like by the horses, right? The horse races? Yeah, he stuck with yeah. He used to have a room in um, Long, Long Beach. Beach. The Liquid uh, Lounge? The Liquid Lounge, bro. Where that was, was actually a good lounge. It was illegal to dance there. Yeah, <laughs> like, we, we it was a weird little we thing st- that we they have, doing, right? Like, we were even chair dancing. And then I think <laughs> I stepped down off my chair and they came right at us. Security's like, like, it's illegal to dance? Like footloose? Yeah, it's illegal. It's illegal to dance at the liquid lounge in Long Beach. Yeah, there's, it's like a cabaret law. Yeah, you need yeah. a license. In the New York, there were certain there, huh? places like that too. And uh, people would tell me that, like, there's no dancing because of that. And I said, that's crazy. You're crazy. No, they will stop you. Stop, like, lady. No more Watusi. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, me? boo? There's some people listening and watching on my TikTok live right now. Um, <laughs> it's up to you guys. If you want me to stay on, we'll keep it respectable for another 15 minutes. And then we have to go. Um, ra- well, thank you for that cowboy hat. Only We're going to have to go raid it, raid it um, R in a partner. couple of minutes. So this is enjoy the show while it lasts. And uh, please, um, thank you for the roses. This is Martin Rizzo right here. Yo, me. The one is, um, <laughs> Yo, me. Rodrigo Torres. He's the guy who cut us. The, the, the Night Stalker. <laughs> I caught I caught the roaches at the Night Stalker. Hold house, up, hold up, ho- held them on a fucking. Uh, this is no Lisa Esparza all the way from Dayton, Ohio. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Send her some hats. She'll show you her, her feet. Do they put a hat oh on? I'm not God. sure. 
Onlyfeeds.com, guys. I'll show, I'll my, show my feet, I'll bro. I'll show my feet, bro. I got those one ring feet, Yeah, dude. bro. I mean, look if at I my feet. Like a, if I reach um, um, 3,000 likes, I'll show my toes. Eh? My real, my big toe, man. My big toe. You guys don't oh, know shit. that, but um, it tells the weather, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Biggie. You know what I mean? My toes belong in a glass slipper, bro. Oh, man. Shout out to Martin Moreno and everybody in the crew. They had to um, crash land the other day. Um, Gabriel Iglesias' plane, the the plane didn't make it a, a side. When they, were, when they were about to take off, it took a rear to the right, and it went into a field, bro. Whoa. Luckily, Martin's big toe came out of nowhere, bro, <laughs> and stopped the plane. That's what it was? Yeah, his toe came out. Because <laughs> I thought it was like they they landed, but then they skidded off the runway. No, Gabriel Iglesias' plane was about to take off. Damn. Then it skidded to the right off the runway. Well, that's what happened to Homeboy, dude. Oh. No, like, during landing, it skidded that's, to the right. Okay, yeah, yeah, during landing. Because, dude, dude, like, what happened to homeboy Travis Barker and that dude DJM? Like, before they took off, that shit skidded and that shit caught fire. Philip, you have a out, picture dude. of them stranded? Well, when I saw the photo, I thought they were filming Jurassic Park, bro. I we think Martin, has, Martin has pictures on his But was page. it because it was, um like, wet? Is that what I, happened? Knows, like, bro, I don't know. Wow, that's scary, dude. Yeah, yeah man, there was, it was a private jet, dude. And um, you could see Gabriel Iglesias holding... um. One of his Chihuahua. Did the other one pass away? No, I think he's still alive. Okay, he was holding a Chihuahua and one's Vinny and what's the other one's you name? You can see Risa. You can see yeah. there it is a photo right there. You can see my our good old friend Ivan Cuellar carrying the dog who is carrying the dog We're bed right, eh? like a soldier. This fool said oh, the right. Oh my! She's God. waiting for him, dog. <laughs> there it is, people. Can you see it? Can you see it right there? That's the plane Glad where. You're um, safe, man. Fluffy wow. crash right there. Look at the, what happened, man. No joke. Why they were that... shot down like by the <laughs> Vietnamese <laughs> over La, Vietnam. La tierra, why is that so like uh, so dark right there? Is that like, a I burn? Know, that's why I, I think it's a mud in the dirt and all that. Or it could be mud. Yeah. yeah oh, but wow. like, bro, that's why you need. A, I mean, you, if you're like you know trafficking drugs, you land like on the grass. But yeah. well, how about that hot chick up there though? Okay, here we go. Huh. But look at it right that's there, my man. Lady, dog. Right there, man. So there it is, man. For more information, go to uh, Martin Moreno. <laughs> Comic, Martin Comic. Comic Martin Mar Moreno. No, Martin. Moreno. Oh, Moreno. We need to, we need to start the, you know, what Raza page. I saw, I Dude, saw Beto do that. that. Was, when I saw that, I was like, thank God they're alive. But you know yeah. what? Nothing for nothing. Gabriel needed new material, and you know what? He got his wish. So um, <laughs> I can't wait to hear that story, bro. Like, cause you know he's going to do the plane going. First, the plane took off. I don't know how to make a plane noise. <laughs> What? Oh my man! Oh my what, god! What, was he in the movie Planes or Cars? He was in a movie. Um, I don't know. I think well, I know it's Speedy Gonzalez. Yeah. Speedy Gonzalez. I think it was in Planes. I think, but Planes was so that's yeah. like, it, like Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> I, I saw Beto Duran comment. He was like, "Hey man, Martin, oh. you guys saw about booking Volaris, which is it, which that is Mexico's uh, Spirit Airlines Volaris." Yeah. yeah. Speaking of, um, that's the only Mexican airline, dude. Uh, what, Out of Mexico. Mexico. Speaking of airlines, um, when you get on a when you when, uh, when you you flown any class, right? First class, whatever, right? Okay. First class. We flown first class. We flown on a private jet, dog. Remember? When they give you the when when they, when they give you the drink, do they when when the, do they take the, the drink away from you before we take off, or do they let you keep it? They take it away from you before you take off. Do they snag it off your hand? No, hell no. Wait, this is a different issue. No, I'm asking oh, him, no, though. I'm asking yeah. him first. No, no. They ask you, and if they're really cool, they're all, do you need another one real quick? Real quick, right? Real quick. I uh -huh. get that, too. That's what I get. I get that, too. I need two or three before the fucking lift off. So Lisa came in looking like Sharon Stone all mad. <laughs> but this wasn't what happened? About, but this wasn't Robert about. Robert De Niro did crazy, deposit. This dog. wasn't about that. This wasn't about us taking off and them taking away my drink. What first was it of all, about? We are in first class, by the way. But it wasn't about her taking my drink okay, paso. because we we're about to take off she goes she saw that we had a coffee right here and she she did she wasn't even our uh, flight attendant you know of our section there's this other guy who was like the guy on uh, Reno our uh, Brooklyn 99 the captain Andre Brower but anyway but anyway so he she uh she goes whoa cough she did like a double take as we're taking off and they're doing this last scan of the aisle you know down the aisle easy because you're late for your job and she goes whoa uh coffee on takeoff uh i don't think so and she grabbed it off of our little table here between us and i and i said oh i'm not done with that <laughs> and she goes 
She goes, oh, you can't have coffee on takeoff. Like, it's what there. if somebody gets burned? And it's a liability. And I you? said, what? And first of all, this coffee was not even hot. It was medium warm. <clears throat> and and But anyway, <laughs> so she's like, so we like this. Hold on to this. So she she's like, oh you're God. her. Oh. So I was like, what is this coffee doing on this flight? We ready for takeoff. <laughs> well, wait, well, wait. So, oh, so all she right. was not that much, but she was like. <laughs> That's but I was it was just like a little bit of like this. Was I was she African like, oh, American? Not. Like, uh, that's, that's not an issue, sir. <laughs> Racist. But I said, I said, wait, I'm not done with it yet. Oh, yes, you are. And she goes, she goes, oh, but you can't have this. FAA you, regulations. And regulations. I said, what? And I said, so nobody on this flight has coffee. And she goes, I don't know, but you're not gonna have any. And she just grabbed really? it and went right Did it down. Spill? No, but it, she, she just went right down the aisle. Like, Dude, but wow. I thought I'm not gonna lie. I don't want to be caring. I would complain. Well, she goes back. <laughs> lawsuit, she goes back in, uh, I don't know about a lawsuit, but 10 free drinks. Right? Our, our flight Dick, attendant. I'm a first class the, free. The guy who is handling first class. <laughs> you got it, sir. <laughs> Give him 20. Hey, dude. The guy who is handling first class was already in his jump seat. Cause and he was the one for that first class yeah. section. <laughs> so, 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 so the, I heard them arguing over the rules. <clears throat> I heard them arguing over the rules. So like, she went, and he was on my side. Good. But anyway, because it's his section. She comes over right after. My problem wasn't really. We can't take that. Have that on takeoff, even though I knew that might not be right. I've had coffee on takeoff many, many times. Nobody's ever even Gone main burnt. cabin, even in the shittiest plane ever. You know. Spirit. But I was like, I've never been on Spirit, but you know. It's uh, <laughs> don't do it. Yeah, yeah. But you know, it was so I was uh. I was wasn't mad much, that much about that. I was mad about her attitude toward me. Like, well, you're not gonna. I don't know, but you're not gonna have any. And I just felt like, boy, she's treating me like a child here with all these people, and we're about to take off. And then it looked like I was making a scene. I didn't say anything. That you were just gripping Felipe your cup. Felipe's out. Huh? He's just like already out, <laughs> ready to take off. <laughs> he <laughs> acting. Oh, ain't gonna get into <laughs> no, this right was now. He? I know. I was wondering if he was acting. How you sleepy right now? <laughs> but not that I needed him to stand up for me or anything. But I just was like, around. I wanted to witness what's going on. You know. But when she then she came over right after we got up in the air with coffee and a whole plate of stuff like I said I don't want that. Please don't report me. No, no, no <laughs> but she was like she was like here you go and I said I don't want that. I'm done with coffee. And then she was like, you sure? And I was like I, don't, I just went like that. I could not talk to her. She made me so angry, like treating me like that. I was just pissed. Yeah. It, you know, it wasn't really the taking of the drink. It was the attitude. The well, you're not going dude, to. Yeah. It's like. She could have said, grown you know, woman. Like, you, you know, finish that up real quick. We, we all right, boom. Right. Or, but hey, she I can't really take off. She you want to take one last sip shit. or whatever? You know, something. You, like, you're like this. You're like this. All I psych. Was, <laughs> I, I thought it was pretty. Uh, yeah. Rude. No. Yeah. That, that's As, rude. You know, that's, hey, that's I waited rude. tables and bar, bartended it took it away for fast, 25 bro. years. Like that dude, um, uh, Quicksilver, bro, from, Mar from X-Men, X -Men, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet <laughs> dreams are made When, when she let go, she went at this, boy. Yeah, Damn, so dude. I felt like whatever. Bro, <laughs> on the way to um, Dayton, on the way, no, no. on the when we're leaving, finally Ohio, we're still like in the first class, right? But um, it was like not really like a first class. It felt like a plane with just two regular seats. <laughs> but um, our our flight attendant, oh, our, plane. our, oh, our yeah. flight they attendant, bro, it wasn't worth it. She looked like the Hell mayor no. of um, Colton, bro. <laughs> hey, bro, welcome. She, we we she, have gypsum she, mind. She, she looked like um, like Miss <laughs> Miss Mrs. Doctor Green Thumbs from fucking um, from the from the night before the night before Grandma. M Michael Shannon. <laughs> Michael Shannon, bro. She Michael was like Shannon's Gary Busey's grandma, grandma bro. Translate for you. <laughs> she was wearing a fucking uh, a work jacket, bro. Instead of work, like a flight attendant. <laughs> she, no, it was a flight attendant jacket. But it looked like you worked at a gas station. Bro, she, she worked, like, she worked, worked like a, a like a flight of like, like a gas attendant. What are you hustling luggage or something? <laughs> and then it got you it like American, American Airlines. Americans the worst. But American, bro, yeah. she reminded yeah. me of the lady who I used to work with at Dodger Stadium when I used to cook hot dogs and scrape mm. and clean. She used to be the lady, right? She's the one. She's the one that told me about Morro Bay. Oh hell yeah! So she was the king. She was she she was retired, bro. She didn't need that job, bro. Anyways, but she would just go there to part time just to have fun, I guess. Stay alive, free games, homie. Free games yeah. dude. I, I remember one time this young supervisor, this paisa, this Mexican lady, told her. She goes, best answer I ever heard, bro. I thought you were gonna mop and and pick up those those um those floor mats. And then she, she, that white lady with me looked at her and said, "You did, you did." 
Like she was surprised that you fucking put all that on her. <laughs> I thought you were going to clean all those mats and put away the trash bins. You did? You did. <laughs> That's what you thought. He <laughs> that was the answer, bro. She just walked away. Damn, how do you an- How do you, yeah. She how do you never follow- checked it? Yeah. She never checked your work? Who? The lady. The, the, the Mexican lady? Uh-huh. Oh, she was the cool manager. Oh. She just lied about you. But that lady, the the the, the lady that told me about Moro Bay, who looks like the flight attendant, yeah. she just they never did nothing. <laughs> but you know what? I was gonna say about when they get the smaller planes, like American Airlines, bro. it's another airline that like they subcontracted to them. Yeah, bro, yeah, I would. It's like Ameri- they don't have all the Air, amenities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. I would take like a long I've ass. Noticed, dude, I would I'm take like, like a long ass break to go take a dump, mm. and then I'll come back, and then a lady will catch me. She grab me by the arm. The white lady go like this. She goes, minutes. you barely coming back? <laughs> she goes, yeah. I'm going to break that record. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the real terrorist. She over there smoking cigarettes, bro, with ushers, baseball players. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the lady at Dodger Stadium? Yeah. yeah. I thought the lady on the plane. But that's what she looked like, bro. <laughs> she, when you hug, like, you give her a hug, well, it smelled like those, those cigarettes. Virginia um, Slims. No, bro. Capri's. Um, Benson and Hedges. No, <laughs> oh, man. And my, my grandma used to smoke Cools. Those. Rest in peace. Newport? Dude, Newport's. Mento, but the cheap kind, bro. Paul Malls, Westerns? Baby. No, bro. Because, dude, the, the lowest cool, of the low is cool, GPC, the, yeah, bro. G, yeah, that's just, but they don't have menthols. It's like there. Marlboro, but it's a red label, and it just goes. Winston. Winston's, <laughs> though. <laughs> hey, dude, that's, that's one of a, the oldest cigarette yeah, companies dude. in Yeah, the man. Country. That's the kind of lady that has, cig- has, a fuck, has a phone with a cigarette on it and, a, and c- cigarettes in the back. Yeah, that's yeah. the one they All had in one you, pocket. When you get de-virginized, smoke this. Yeah, Winston's a she's, detective. She's, she's a sure kind of dude. woman that you watches a, a pastor on, on television and gets all motivated and spiritual and looks at her daughter. Margie, grab my pocketbook. <laughs> Hallelujah, mama. <laughs> grab my pocketbook. That's hilarious. Just donate to this uh, organization. When I see smoke cigarettes. What's up, people from TikTok Live <laughs> getting <laughs> all nasty? This fool said, Felipe, give us a like with your toe on this thing. They want to see the dead, those homies. Let's get the 3,000, homie. Here, right here. Let's Hold see the right there. Here we go. Toe on Call him Tony, dog. Oh, his, shit. his toes are all clean. They're good. Tony, hey. Give me, give me the phone. Hey, they look the nice, bro. Yeah, he got them all he, he, he doesn't oh, want oh, contact, yeah. fool. He's act. His genes like can't fi- survive it, a virus, it took bro. Like nice five toes, years. Huh? It took like five years to get them all Wow. You guys should have seen my toes 10 years ago, man. I was ripping socks, trying them on. I should look at the Ukraine, huh? I'm going to TJ to get my toes done right my now. My toes yeah, look like dude. a saladito, bro. Yeah, it took some time. It, took, it, <laughs> it, t- it, it takes like a year, right? medication. Um, Why is that? Well, Sam blasted my shit. Keep cutting, <laughs> and he kept getting ingrown toenails because of the cutting, but she would, like, see him every two well, the weeks. Medical, when they were cutting Rodrigo's toenail, the guy put on a helmet like a welder, bro. <laughs> it was like that scene in a Dumb and Dumber, <laughs> huh? Yeah. But he, he <laughs> is funny. getting his toes uh, fixed in TJ. So you I mean, got a point at me or what? No, but <laughs> trying to get a free it, ride to go eat. But I've, been go, I've, been go going with, I've been going with him to Tijuana. His toenail grows like this, bro. <laughs> no, you were saying? So we've been taking to the, uh, trips to Tijuana uh, every, oh, like once a month. Yeah. And, and, uh, the we, only time this fool spends money is at the strip club, fool. Ah, dude. <laughs> What's up, what's up, freaking a whole, uh, <laughs> what's up, whole kidnapping us at fucking the taco fool. spot, dude? I don't even want to talk to that fool anymore, dog. Oh, man. There's, no, a, TikTok, we, we, there's, a, t- there's a TikTok listener right now who said that her husband rips bed sheets with him toes. Hilarious. <laughs> she's a sleeping with a, a, a werewolf. She's sleeping with La Chupa Cabra over there, right? Eh? <laughs> if you want me to stay on on TikTok, come on, man. I need some likes. I need some All likes. Toes, I need, I need something over here. Who's listening on YouTube live right now? En San Los Dedos, Let me see. Somebody uh, was here Butch from... Butch McLeod, Sabrina Angel. Dude, Joel has Mexico. like Willie kidnapping skills, fool. Dude, Joel, kid, know, Joel kidnaps. Barrels. Dude, after we ate talking about, and we started talking about, yeah, los tenemos que ir. Vamos a sacar pan, wey. <laughs> so we <laughs> went, le gusta, no? we went to Tijuana, we, we got his, I'm uh, making um, herbal tea. <laughs> <laughs> we went to his toe, uh, we went to his toe thing, and after that, uh, <laughs> hey, Dr. Pies? We we went to Costco out there to oh. check it out, dude. In yeah, Tijuana. TJ, fool. In the Tijuana, dude. It was badass, dude. Costco in dude, Tijuana? There's some characters there, fool. With me and him, we're waiting for a Joel for an hour because he had to get out of work. <laughs> We were just roasting people that are coming out, bro, out of Costco, dude. You should have, bro. Bro, I saw I'm a rocker. You, dog. I saw a rocker come out. See, well, you're still in those fun, but also Cadillacs, way. <laughs> dude, like, they, they got the image, but it just, like, 
beyond swap me fool and then joel he somehow i don't know tricked us to go to a bar <laughs> then we went to an open mic hey wey el, el bar el dandy wey is in los 1910 wey cuando estaba la prohibición we walked to an open mic for at least like what a mile bro <laughs> this full light is <laughs> up a hill iba antini bordeng wey Sí, and, foto, <laughs> and then we went to a uh, taconazo, people. fucking badass yeah, spot, dude. dude. That, 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 uh, that taco spot is like the best spot. And dude. it's funny because once we cross the border back to over here, we're like, dude, you feel like you can talk shit to people. You can talk shit to people. You Tijuana has better tacos, right? Hell fuck yeah, yeah dude. Oh, You saw that yeah, video about that Asian guy that walked to uh, from uh, Tacos de Gordon, Tijuana. I mean, San Diego, and he walked to Tijuana and he compared the tacos. He said uh, the tacos in San Diego are better than TJ. Go back bro. to Monterey Park, bro. <laughs> Dude, hey. TJ tacos are bomb. They're dude. the shit, dude. Yeah, I'm. I'm not gonna get, eat the ones on those little murky streets. <laughs> no, but no, I no, eat no, the no, ones no, that no, came no, out no. of the videos and where like you see people like their shoes ain't all fucked up. Tacos del Frank and all that shit, but I don't know about <laughs> fucking uh, yeah the alley, dude. Yeah, but Taco Naso and like uh, the other other spot, Las Umaderas, which is like a spot that has like three or four taco spots. We went to an open mic out there in Tijuana. It was a UFO theme oh bar, God, bro. Dude. See, wait, but you los, know what? Los, los Marcianos, wait. They had some local beers and it was cool, dude. <coughs> it was it, it the was guava a, beer was yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, I was like, damn, dude, this fool like made it out of the tree in his mom's yard. I can't believe that when we were, when we were doing um, stand up comedy in, in Tijuana, I went to the bathroom to wash my hands and I told that guy, "There's no sink." And, and he goes, he goes, oh my he goes, put your head in that bucket of water. Right? <laughs> and this, he didn't want to do it. There was a shark on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. I got bit by a crab. <laughs> <laughs> and I could bet that way. But that's how, <laughs> like, dude, when I used to go to Mexico in the a 80s. bucket of water. Where they didn't have running water. That's how we would take shout. I'm talking in about Mexico, yeah. not at my grandma's house where there was a tinaco. I'm tinaco. talking about El Rancho right there in El Salto where there was like, you would shower like a bucket of water. They would go get from a well. I'm telling you, I, I remember when I used to like, uh, you couldn't flush the toilet. You have to like dump water in the toilet so it can flush. <laughs> that's my cousin's letter in Kentucky. That's, no, no I had, water. Yeah, and well, that's had Appalachians or where? Yeah, like Who's more, yeah. Appalachians. more head Kentucky. Yeah, more fool, head like Kentucky. Dick, like the legend of this D. Ray White and all that 80s, shit. Back in the 80s. Oh, it still yeah. exists. For sure, right? systems. <laughs> I haven't seen her. The but shit well, and it works, bro. Dumping water inside the toilet, it flushes. But like, that sewage system, like you know, sometimes when you live in like Hemet or whatever, and like seaway. you have a um, what is it called a septic tank? A septic tank, dude. They gotta That's go. That's Ohio is. We used to have one, bro. And they would come in there and pump it because <laughs> when it starts to get full, it's like weed, bro. It's stinking, dog. <laughs> it's like a cistern in yeah. the back of a. It's like a big old concrete box, like in the in your backyard or wherever. Yeah, because like, I remember it was, up, like a pool. Yeah, <laughs> it's fucking crazy, dude. Bro, what's up, food podcast? What's up? Shout out to um, Johnny O'Daniel, Emily O'Daniel. Bella O'Daniel, Mario O'Daniel, Kelly O'Daniel, Kayla O'Daniel, oh, Danny Hayasaka, Hayasaka, and um, <laughs> Tiffany. You could go follow Danny Hayasaka um, on Terry Instagram and see all the photos. Robin, Ridge, Little Ridge Jr. <laughs> RJ. Um, huh? RJ, that's his. RJ Jr. and um. Man, so oh oh, oh shit, my cousin Don, Mike, man, and his Mike, wife Sarah. 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 And the other Sarah, bossy Sarah, and fun Sarah. Yeah, man, <laughs> and Dougie, and I'm a uh, leader. My cool aunt Annie, and yeah, and Harley, and Linda, Linden Mouth. Um, Linden Mouth, yeah, there are a lot of people, a lot of people. Oh, there. my my aunt Wilma now. <laughs> La Wilma. Oh shit, my uncle, um, Big H. And his wife, what's his name? That would be Little your age. grandfather. That would be your father. That wouldn't be anything to you, but it's Johnny's father-in-law. I'm just trying to get a his cold sign. H. Big his H. Give me a hug, man. Just get over H. here. And um, David showed up, your brother. My brother. I haven't seen him for 13 years. Damn. Wow, dude. Yeah. Which, is, which number of reunion is this one? Third. Well, for me, the third. Uh, yeah, well, actually, the second family. No, third. This is the third because last year well, was mostly it was just that my one, but it when her Florida, right? Dad passed away. Yeah, in Your Florida. Yeah, well, my dad passed away, and that's where I met everybody, but I hadn't <clears throat> ever met them. There we are, right there. Look that at was that. one oh. night. That was the first night we had dinner. The old Daniels. So, Almost yeah. said the Osparzas. Yeah, that's Danny on the far left. He's go follow him, and he lo he would love to have you say what's up, fool, to him. Go tell him what's up, fool. Daniel, fix my roof. Danny Hayasaka. Up, Felipe Osparza. That Danny Hayasaka. Yeah, that fool grew up in El Centro, country. California. Yeah, he's half Mexican, half Japanese. Hi. Oh, yeah. Hi. Yeah. He'd be eating tacos with um, <laughs> seaweed. 
Qu- yeah, well, Japanese know. were the first ones to teriyaki hit the tacos, homie. industry here in Cali, dude. Yeah, Japanese used to come to Mexico back in the day. There, there's samurai statues in, somewhere in Mexico. I, I, I saw. Yeah, Michoacan, right there, where your grandma lives. See, sí, wey. <laughs> <laughs> Con los perros en el techo, wey. But supposedly there's a lot of cross culture shit in Mexico with that, like Chinese and like African shit. Mexico was the first country to kind of um, uh, get rights to anime cartoons, like like back in the seventies. Speed racer, fool. Because dude, <laughs> when I was a kid, I thought Mexico Kimba, meant to anime, lion. bro. <laughs> but dick, they, uh, all those ones were like translated in Spanish. Yeah, with the little whack ass voices. Hey, fuck you, dude. <laughs> Dog, what we got? Well, when we when we um once you, you you guys went out of town, right? Found that roach and. Hell um, yeah, <laughs> We, um, yeah, you left on Sunday morning, right? Yeah, we yeah. left Sunday, and you guys, uh, fourth we July. checked out later that day. There was, a, there was thunder and, and lightning when we were asleep, like it was shaking the Sunday building. Sunday night, bro. I'm not even a lie. I woke no, up Saturday, Saturday, Saturday night. Saturday night, yeah. yeah. I was like, what the I was fuck? Like, what's happening? I said, I, I was, hey, I woke up. I said, they're gonna be no show. There's gonna be tornadoes. I was like, all dude, day. I'm all, I thought it was supposed to be hot, dog. I was like, damn, that shit was rattling, dude. That was kind of tornado. I know. That's what I'm saying. It was crazy. But it wasn't windy enough scared. at all. I know Toledo's the Midwest, but I got sunburned walking to, uh, what's it called, uh, yeah, you Bobby E, you know? Yeah. You get profiled well, now. Well, you know, you get sun, more sunburn when it's cloudy, too. Yeah, yeah overcast, that's a word. Magnifying it, glass. You don't put a sunscreen on or whatever. You, you stay out burnt. longer. You don't realize how long you've been out in yeah. the sun because you don't feel it. But you get burned those days, you know? You know, the clouds don't stop the UV. Either. What's up, fool? I'm um, Johnny O'Daniel, man, and everybody showed up in the in the fucking party bus, bro. Yeah, twenty five of them. Twenty five. They came in strong. Uh, on Friday night. Strong, yeah. man. That's um, that's Sarah, that's Danny, and that's everyone else. They, they drove for two hours on that party bus. Two hours. That's that's Terry. And that's Dayton to Toledo. That's Terry. Yeah, man. Um, that's um Isaac Hayes and. Isaac That's Johnny fun. with a green T-shirt. What's up, full pod? What's up, full? Oh, Polly Walnut. There she's might have on. Been some underage drinking on that bus. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. Now everybody knows that. Laugh <laughs> that right here, right? Eh? Hey, <laughs> hey, dude, come on, man. <laughs> That's what I heard, right? My son with a jug of juice. It was jungle juice. <laughs> getting ready for not, not college, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how they do it over there with the alpha and omegas. <laughs> jungle juice is nasty, bro. That shit is hard. Everything's bro. mixed. Bro, we oh. showed up on. Um, First of all, bro, you're right, bro. I've never been in a town, bro, where there are no stop signs, bro. No no lights. No speed limit signs. No, no lights speed at limit night. signs. You make up your own limits, dude. Yeah. All right. You know what? Today it's all like Bakersfield, bro. <laughs> but yeah, less cars. With no stop signs. My brother's signs. out in the country. He's in our Bro, camp. I passed by a town I never heard of. Fucking Gordon. This is where Tammy yeah. Wynette was born. See, what else? Oh. Um, <laughs> but you guys have Bob Evans. I like Bob Evans. People talk shit about Bob Evans. Like you Bob are Evans. a fucking simpleton, huh, gross. dude? Hey, fuck you, dude. Bob Evans is. Gross. It just bland to me. That's Bob it. Bob Evans. But well, I saw Fireflies <laughs> for the first time. How was You're that? You're lying. Dude? Never seen no more. Was mesmerized. Did you catch it? They're any? bad, dude. But um, man, her cousin um, Mike, that fool showed uh, that fool showed up, bro. Like he lived on like he lived forty five minutes away. He fucking showed up with like ready to party, bro. With a camper, they bro. To spend the night, so they a camper. camper. But they live like thirty. He minutes brought his away. truck, <laughs> dog. Oh, yeah, dude. And then he hit. They bought another car, bro. That fool <laughs> said he, he goes, "Y'all want to see my guns?" And he oh. fucking, bro. This is like a family reunion, bro. They shoot him, dog. He fucking showed up, bro. He doesn't have like a range. Like we we're gonna have like a, a shoot. We were, I thought we were. Cause, so cause I really thought that we were gonna go shoot. We we're gonna shoot that weekend, right? Cause Let I thought, go, bro. bro, they were going to, but that motherfucker had um, he had a, a, enough guns for everybody in that party to have one. Day. <laughs> Sick, dude. He Dog had like two or three life, duffel bags. That was like fucking a Branch Davidian right there. Well, huh? he had a badass um um a, a badass one, bro. You open it up like this, caca. <laughs> an AR-15 or whatever, and it, and it had a scope, bro. Fuck yeah! What? It had a, it had a scope. A it had a scope, a scope with a with a red infrared, bro. You can see the infrared in the daytime, bro. I don't need anybody to hear what I'm doing. Dude, and, and then is that, and then her brother whoa. said, "You got a red dot in your eye too." <laughs> hey, dude. You know, like the Twitter PIG. Oh, fucking uh, pat, pat. Yeah, and he said that he's part. Of, he's part of this club, you know, because. Guns are legal in Ohio, you know, like just like um, he's part of the, some club and you don't even have to register. NRA or no, 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 not NRA. A, 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 a different one, Blackwater or something. Yeah, like that. But a different a sport, one, a sportman's club, yeah, like a, a fisherman club. one too. Oh, I see. Yeah. And um, learning how to forge knives right now. They get bullets. They get bullets delivered to his house, 
Bro, Lisa can't even get wine delivered in New York. <laughs> New York, yeah. they don't deliver it. Well, they, they dude, they think, in New York, ain't they going to start getting rid of the stove ovens and the brick ovens and all that? It was proposed here. And it was proposed some other places, but I don't think it's passed anywhere yet. And, and I don't even think it would ever be. Those restaurants would have to pay so much money. Like, imagine all the Chinese restaurants and the amount of fire yeah. they use. The gas. They can't cook on an electric stove. There was a the bunch of people at right. I can't cook on an electric stove. I'll, I'll die. I, I play that game, bro. When you throw the cornhole? bean bag on or something, yeah, cornhole, cornhole. for the first time. Man, well, they, they, knew how to, they all knew how to score. I like horseshoes, but bro, hard. I got beat by little RJ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little legend, huh? Where's LR at, bro? Little, Shout little, out, little Red Junior, like bro. Three. That full of like Bam Bam, bro. He had a <laughs> yeah. big ass blonde hair, his toe head, burned hair. shoulders, yeah. and elbows, bro. <laughs> that fool was making that little hole, dog. He's a little ruffian, man. Oh, and then there was another He's another tough. family. Um, it was um, I think it was Heather and Nick, and they have little kids, bro. Motherfucker, they already look like they got all the little like motocross champs. Huh. They already know how to spit. This fool was two years old, bro. <laughs> whacking cough balls, bro. Fuck yeah, yeah and dude, fuck that's it, cool, fucking dude. up um, the cornfield across. The yeah, way. man, they're fucking shit up. Let them go. Let it rip, bro. There were nine dogs in that motherfucker. Yeah, they house. All nine got, dogs. They all got along for the most part. It that's was so crazy. Cool. Yeah. Nine dogs. Do y'all live inside the house? But, no, like my brother has three, three, and then. Uh, the another couple who came, they brought their dog, and then another couple came brought their two dogs, uh, and somebody else brought their dog. But that's the whole yeah. thing about dogs; they're like children. Like if you train them and you yeah. get them acclimated to other dogs, they exactly. can chill. If they never seen a dog, you let them out five years later, they'll fight somebody. Yeah, you yeah. fight another dog, yeah. get in a fight. You got yeah. Her brother, um, he built that home all by himself, man. Like from the ground up. Crew, but yeah, he yeah, designed, it, ground, it, he designed it. it. That's fucking cool. Yeah, your brother yeah. has him a contracting business. He's a roofer. Yeah, roofer. Oh, really? But they do like now they're doing like bathrooms and kitchens and. They've been working on those mother-in-law units and stuff like that. Oh, he's that's, busy. That's he's cool, busy man. like for the next six months. Wow. My cousin Mike is an electrician. Up. Everybody's something. something. Con- contractor. Mike's an electrician. Yeah. But I was going like, to say, last time we went Terry there, the machinist. even Toledo's and, bigger uh, than party it was in, that little, in those little areas, so everything's all growing. Yeah. I'm not sure Dayton's growing, though. Dayton was pretty... A lot much, of people were trashing the same bro. as it was 30 years ago, and it's Dayton shit. looks like the bad side of Oakland. Yeah, a lot Dayton of people looks, are trashing it's, Dayton. It's boarded really? up. Yeah. It's a mess. It's really, really bad. There but was it was no 30 years bro. ago. It never changed. It, no, not one Starbucks. You have to go to Huber Heights for Starbucks. So nothing really. Wow, nothing. wow, that's crazy. There's blood banks. There's I'm churches. The street corner churches. Bro, I know you live in a bad neighborhood, bro. There's more hair extension places. Hair extension places. Check catching places and laundromats than there is banks, schools. Yeah. Supermarkets, supermarkets. So, yeah, right and down bus the hill stops. from my grandmother's old house is a blood a blood bank, and that blood bank was moving in about a couple of years before I moved out of her house. So that's over thirty years ago. So that's a bro, the blood bank is the most successful business. But the, where, 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 exist, where her where mom where her mom lives, they still they still call that Kroger Killer Kroger. Killer Kroger man. <laughs> Why is that? Because it's ghetto. Because it's ghetto and people get killed. Just like ghetto Vons. Yeah, I'm like, like it's, is the produce really it's good? Really, it was the only, it was <laughs> the only thing uh, left in that shopping center, actually. So All that, those yeah. businesses moved out, and it was the only thing. That's where wow. my husband And a lot of killed. crimes happened there, yeah. So it's equivalent to like kind of like South Central. There's a whole bunch of churches on every corner. Yeah, like wow. Hope. You know, a lot of, yeah, yeah. A lot of desperate people. Bro, she told me to her first apartment. That shit, that motherfucker looked like you could break it through that shit with a rock. Oh, you could. You could push. There was a, some sort of addition on the back. <laughs> well, you could have pushed your fist through there. What's wow. up? <laughs> but, but every time I used to cross, I was 19 lived, when I lived there, 18, 19. And Man. when I would wait to cross the street, cars thought I was a hooker because it was just so I bad. haven't seen people just down. sit on their porch with no radio and no nothing, just sitting there, bro. Like Thinking since, about stuff. Since in the heat of the night. Well, you got to get creative, bro. bro. just sitting there, bro, uh, doing like nothing, bro. Like yeah. no drinks. <laughs> Just sitting there, bro. That's insane. Watching the world pass by. No radio, no nothing. Just sitting there, bro. So if somebody got to give them a little guitar. They got to write a song. Slapping something. mosquitoes, bro. <laughs> something. <laughs> Slapping mosquitoes. Uh, little dude, piano, they don't work no more, dude. Something, dog. Yeah, it's sad. We went two, to this place my called the... Uh, they're just gone. Damn. The first night we met everybody, we ate at this place called the Wheat Something. Wheat Penny. The Wheat Penny. We have vegan pizzas. In Oregon District. Mm. I want to open a business over there. I think I want to buy a building right there. In Dayton? Yeah. There's, it's 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 popping right there, and I think that's kind of like gay neighborhood now. I used to work there, and it's like a huh. it's a it's called Oregon District, and it's the on Fifth Street, yeah. Fifth Street between Wayne and I forget the one downtown, but it's right near downtown, and it's like kind of the only cool place that was yeah. in Dayton, and it had like boutique shops and cool restaurants and bars and stuff. 
all up and down that block. And Joker's Comedy yeah. Club used to be there. Really? Which I think Bro, Dave Chappelle. Uh, we're going to building. her brother's house. I saw somebody towing a pool, dog. A pool? How the fuck? ground pool? Or I like saw a, that on Instagram, no, dude. The whole pool. pool. A solid line. Like they were going to dig a hole and put yeah. that that they, thing in the bottom with plastic. Yeah. Or it, fiberglass. It's like concrete or fiberglass, yeah. No, but it's still almost, it, it's a step they're up like sh- above ground yeah. pool, right? I, I, I went to a party and somebody had one of those. It's yeah. actually a fiberglass pool, like a fiberglass yeah. rest shower bath. Yeah, they'll have like a, a deck tub. set up for totally. it. A deck set up for it. And it'll sit I think they lay them on the sand. Ground. And then they think, yeah, but the it's in the ground though yeah. still. But it's it, not they like. They set it. It's not like ours. You know, it's not like. Oh, yeah, dude. Mean fucking stuff. transportation right there, dude. It was weird. Yeah, man. We went to this 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 store called Myers, but it looked like me head. M E E R. Oh, Meijer, my, right? right? Meyer. That's what I said, bro. Meijer. It's Meijer. It's called Meijer, bro. Instead of Walt, it's Walt. These fools pronounce. Um, it's like a German. You know that that name, that, that man Harry Belafonte? They pronounce it Bell Fountain. No, Bell Fontaine, Ohio. They call it Bell Fountain. Versailles, Ohio. They call it Versailles. Perfect for you, bro. Lime- <laughs> That's where he went to school. Folks. I've seen that name. Lima, Ohio. They call it Lima. Well, yeah. yeah. And it's then, a famous, uh, yeah, but the Bell Fontaine, Bell Fountain one just kills me. It, it's a record, I, I think, by Lenny Bruce, Lima, so Ohio. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, really? He performed. He did a. He album? went over there and they're talking about, yeah, Liberace. I heard he's a <laughs> sissy. And he's all, where you from? Because they're the only Jewish people that went to his show. And he's all, uh, New York City. And then they're all like, uh, yeah, we know people in New York. He's on where? Rochester. <laughs> <laughs> Geographical joke. I just say that that's <laughs> from Rochester. Yeah, bro. It's fucking cool, dude. Somebody asked about Troutman Sound Labs. They, it wasn't even there. I forgot to point gone, out gone? that it was gone. Yeah. What? We uh, throw, it was Troutman, Roger Troutman's studios. Because studio. it used to be Caddy Corner, and then there was churches and a gas station on the other corners. But they were di- they were Caddy Corner from each other, and then um, they they are just gone, gone. Both of them are gone. That was that historic neighborhood, but it's all boarded up now. What was the first city you moved out when you first moved out of Dayton? New York. New York for school. Yep, for grad school. Wow. And then I moved to LA after that. I lived there for nine years, ten years almost. Mm. Crazy. Wow. But yeah, Ohio was a. It, parts of it were just still so sad, but then it was cool to hang out in the country. Mm. You had a good time. I was hitting golf balls, bro. Whacking them, hitting them to the corn husk. <laughs> Driving them, huh? Driving them, bro. And I'm uh, playing with the dogs, walking to the back of the farm, chilling. That's big, dude. That's like like simple, like like just like cool ass like farm. Like I, right it's the it's bigger than when when you walk into it. You know when you drive by it, it looks small, but when you're inside of it, it's long. You see yeah. a big ass barn, a big old like the acreage and everything. It's like dude, yeah, the landscape in the middle huge, of it, yeah. bro. Yeah, my brother has eight acres, and they have a. It's a mad spread. They have woods in the back. I've never been in them. They have woods in the back. That I just have stopped at the tree line, but it goes. There's a creek back there, Damn. and there's like a whole other neighbor back there. I guess one of the daughters was learning how to shoot, and she was shooting in the wrong direction. And that guy came and said, "I got bullets whizzing by me, bro." Wow, <laughs> dude. He's like, "Oh shit." So that's why he has to like inform everybody he's gonna shoot, you know, if he's gonna do that because he's not really permitted. I got to. bullets whizzing by me. Yeah, he's like he came over to the front of the house because he lives on way over. But you didn't get to high. shoot but, at all. But he no. was shooting an AK and that was like two and a half dude. miles oh. or something like that. Like I know what whatever the connotation guns have, mm. but dude, like shooting, that's fucking fun as fuck, dude. I never shot before. But next time you guys will probably he'll uh, prepare. Go to shooting range for dude. it all. LA Gun Club, dude. They they rent you the guns. Scary dude. What's up, fool? What's up? I was just gonna tell you that, like, but now, like, in this, uh, in California, you have to go with somebody because they don't let you go alone because there've been like people that go inside the gun rage and suicide. Shut themselves. up, yeah, bro. Oh, that's, so in Cali, that's how they do it now. That is hard. Let me sign up the gun to me for before they do that. Eh? Then later on, I could keep it. God damn, dude, that is crazy. <laughs> people do that, you still dude. Gotta walk out, dick. <laughs> yeah, dude. Damn, so you, you gotta go in there with you know. I like Another a person. Yeah, so you don't see me. Well, anyway. But Suicide? how many times has that happened? I only heard of the one time that. I've happened. heard a like. A, I was more? looking at guns the other day, and some guy told me there's one. I, I guess not. But you know, I'm sure they're probably suppressing it. 
Man. But uh, and I know a guy that worked at one in Orange County that told me the story, and that's like, dude, like six, seven years. Ago. The next day we went over there and we had um, we made um, Lisa made um, vegan tacos. Mm. I made soy riso and potato tacos. Yeah, Dora- and, uh, dorados. And was so that um, was that taco that green taco sauce, the yeah. one that looks like guacamole, but not guacamole, but another chicken. The green taqueria sauce. Oh, okay. It's like a. It looks like guacamole sauce, but it's not avocado. Water mole. No, guava- no, it's got Water like zucchini. Yeah, it's like runny. It's got yeah, like zucchini. It's like, it's so fake. Good. There's no avocado yeah. in it. It's not. It's not like Edibis, right? Is that what it is? It is or? It no, but that kind of tastes like it. Yeah. But I know There's some no taco shops do that instead of giving you real uh, avocado. Because yeah. I was wondering, man, how come the avocado don't think get most, black yeah, during most, all day? Because, because uh, most yeah, taquerias make, make it that way. Yeah, it's a squash cavasita, and then uh, that shit right there without nothing garlic. or lime, it'll be black, bro. Bum, bum. Yeah, yes, yeah, true, it, yeah. it doesn't black. have There's no avocado in avocado. They're not vegan, right? So we didn't think they were gonna like it, but they loved it. They loved it. They loved it so much. They didn't want their own tacos, really? and I didn't make enough. They made bio- they made um, bionicos, bro. They made what <laughs> they call walking nachos. They call them walking nachos, nachos. Nachos. They no, walking, ta- walking, walking tacos. Walking tacos. They opened up a, a, a Dorito tacos. a Dorito pack, and they put um, ta- taco meat inside of it. You know, like yeah, like white people ta- white people beef tacos. Ground beef. Yeah. And they put it. They had cheese, and dog, tomatoes, and, tomatoes stuff, and sour cream, and they shook it. And they were eating it with a spoon, like a Frito Lay pie. I fucked that up. Yeah, dog. like Bionicles, but yeah. not a Frito pie. Frito pie is baked in like a pie. And used to make those at eight p.m. in Seven Eleven back in the day. Or you go watch two right now. That sounds good right now, dude. So like Frito- Bionicles is yeah. kind of. It was like that. So, but a so, dude. but anyway, everybody wanted my little taquitos that I made. But I made like a few for us, and then the rest for them. I was like, here, you guys can have the rest. But they thought like that was dinner or something. And no, it's not. it was it's like maybe two <laughs> little taquitos each. Everybody's trying to hold on to them. But they loved them. They loved them. Like it was good. Hell yeah. So you're telling <laughs> me you ran out of tortwillies. Tortwillies, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I had two giant stacks, but they there were Woo. fucking thirty people or something. His oh. brother has her brother has like a movie theater downstairs all loud, bro. Hell yeah, like all theater. All A C style, bro. Yeah, Every room have, is cold. It's cold. They have eight That's the coldest chairs. spot in the room where you go in there, bro, you're chilling like, yeah. chilling like instant a nap. Homie. Shit, fuck. Be at home right there. I can't be hot nowhere, bro. They have a 4K projector on the ceiling. It goes right yeah. to my brother. Projector. Look, my brother built like that boom. house. Like it's custom everything. That's sick, Crazy. dude. That's what's up, dude. Whoa. They have a thing on the wall where you could pu- um, plug in uh, the vacuum. They have a central vacuum. Central vacuum. So uh, every room has a little suction where you can plug it in. Go. Tss- Clean it all up. you oh, have really? to do is all you have to do is yeah. take your co- your tube your hose the suction tube and then it floor, goes to like a trash and in every room it goes into a central your trash house, in the garage <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, shoot, it has a chute it. that goes out to the garage wow but yeah so you just you don't have to lug any vacuum you have, and you never have to buy a vacuum cleaner you just have the hose that's like i don't know 50 feet or something so that's it can ins- go in every corner on that floor and you plug it into any wall <laughs> along the on the floor. I mean, it's crazy. I've never Same seen anything like, before wow. or after or since then. It's like there's pads that have like laundry chutes and everything. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, a laundry chute. It's like sweet. Dude. But it's, yeah, vacuum. And it's it has central, it has, just has vacuum suction. Perfect suction. Like it'll clean everything. The next day, everybody Step showed up, up bro, bro, for the family reunion. And we're talking about everybody, bro. Like all her, her dad's Monday. brothers. Monday, yeah. On the third. We, they made like a, a hunt. Oh, man. They made a bunch of hot dogs. The kind was, um. They come with have man, they had all kinds of hot dogs, like beef hot dogs, regular hot dogs. But the one everybody liked was his hot dog with cheese and jalapeno inside, bro. Like every time it burst it, it went boom with cheese Pops. and jalapeno in it. Little cheese dog. You had that one before? Fuck yeah, dude. Those are good, dude. You? Yeah. It's basically just a I don't eat meat, so I don't even do. know. I don't even see that shit no more. It's good as fuck. Yeah, it's all mixed together. His mouth's watering. It's like a stuff, <laughs> bro. Like a stuff crust. <laughs> to me, I know, I know everybody and likes their little food from everywhere, but me, American food's the best shit. And her dude. cousin Z-way. Mike has that trailer, bro. So he keep all your um, shit over. He had a little griddle, yeah. Sarah, um, Sarah pulled a little grill out. She fucking turned it on, got it super hot. Hot. And uh, that's when I started talking to him, bro, because I came from far away. I had ate a little edible when I went over there. <laughs> you didn't tell me that. And, uh, and, I, and I, I was eating edibles all day. And then um, he's talking to all these old ladies happy? over there. <laughs> I was, and then I went at this. Yeah, it's, yeah, that one's that one's done. I get flipped that one more time. Man. When they popped already. I was talking about when I was working at Dodger Stadium. Uh, there used to be a woman or anybody was going at the cookie hot dog. Go Felipe. Oh, I love that guy. Call him. Here, they'll give me ten dollars. And then I would burn a hot dog for I burn five hot dogs for them. Yeah, instead wanted. of the boiled, because boiled is nasty. Yeah. Nobody wants boiled anything. Gross. I yeah. will burn it has them. To be burned like 
give me some the little smoky. bit of blackening or something. <laughs> so I ain't got no charcoal, man. So they've been camping oh, at um, oh, Lake Michigan, bro. For like the summers? Or? Yeah, and um, her, um, her, there were the two older people that came to my show. They ended up staying, bro. They, they, they used that day as a vacation day because they have a, a, a house by the lake. So they stood there. Everybody, house, house by the lakes, bro. What are we doing, dude? What are we doing, bro? Yeah. It, right here, house by the they dirt. Have one. I have they an apartment by Echo Park Lake. Because H does cyber. <laughs> house by the homeless people. They have a home on the lake, on Lake Erie, because H does, uh, my brother's father-in-law, his brother, my brother's wife's dad, he does like little tours for people, fishing tours and stuff <laughs> out on Lake Erie. He's retired, wow. but that's, that's cool, what he dude. does now. I'm gonna buy the house uh, there. We talk shit about over the wash in Alhambra. <laughs> 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 the bridge. <laughs> the bridge. The bridge. You, you better get some investors. <laughs> the troll house. Oh man, um, her brother <laughs> rented an ice cream machine, bro. Yeah. And they plugged it in, and it was making an ice cream machine, and there was like a little short. And then luckily, Mike was there, bro. He's like an electrician. He fixed that shit in five minutes, bro. Charge. Ah, you got it. Just... Fifteen amp. Need to put in a twenty amp. What mm. you doing here? I got a fix. Now you got circuit broken over here. Blah blah. Blew out the capacitor. He fixed it in 15 minutes. Wow. Both things. Yeah, 15 minutes. It. Soft serve ice cream? Soft serve, or? Soft serve yeah. chocolate yeah. and vanilla, bro. Bomb, bomb. And they had little condiments, bro, with cho- smashed chocolate chips, Oreos. Fresh Oreos. And they had little yeah, little um red velvet um cake cake pops, a bunch of them. And then they had Buckeyes, bro. Bucky. They had Buckeyes all the stuff the to make sandwiches. Uh, had Buckeyes? Um, Buckeyes? Yeah. They had a bunch of dips, bro. Oh, this is the best one I ever had, bro. Um... This something like my um, aunt used to make back in the day, but she made it with strawberry. They got Cool Whip, and they just put it. They mixed it with chocolate syrup, probably, and they they fucking just they they fucking mixed it all up. I think it was Cool Whip or yogurt, and they put it in a bowl, all cold, bro. And and um, they you I guess you you get like a little bowl, like a bionicle, a little bowl of strawberries, blueberries, pineapple, and you get a, a you get a dollop of that <laughs> chocolate Cool Whip. And you put it right on top, bro. Limit, and then you Big sprinkle splat. sprinkle some chocolate chips over and nuts. It was fucking delicious, though. That probably wanted what gave me a stomachache last you didn't night. Didn't even so tell a nap, me bro. he ate all this. I didn't even. You know. were napping. <laughs> I had to take a quick fifteen minute nap. I had a heat stroke almost. I was fucking, <laughs> fucking hot and humid, and I was dying. I was talking to somebody. And I started to see stars. I was like, I too many go walking inside. tacos, man. <laughs> she has a, an aunt, bro. She has an aunt. Um, her name is Anne Anne Cantrell. And. And um, Cantrell, and um, she, um, she's like, this. remember, uh, remember who's the boss? Mona. Mona, <laughs> but a uh, uh, cool Mona, but nice. Not all sex stuff. But um, she's all, <laughs> she's Mona all was sex stuff. But like, <laughs> yeah, she, she, was. she has, she has, I she's, mean, like, she's, like, she's like, she has like, she, she, <laughs> she has daddy. style, bro. Because I remember when we <laughs> were there in Zaz. Orlando the first time, and the boss, the godmother, the 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 the, the, the leader of the cartel, Dottie, she was gonna go take a nap. And then, she, but um, Annie, she's like the older sister. Annie is the Anne's the older. And then, then she tapped me like this: "Take a nap. Who wants to take a nap right now? You're gonna miss everything. You're gonna miss everything, right? So, um, so her and I were, t- me and her were talking for a long time. So, um, when they were, um, <laughs> when they were, um, take a nap. You're gonna miss everything. So when Danny, that dude, he posted because like, they had like games, and they had a board. It broke everybody into teams. They had a puzzle contest, uh, sack racing, um, carry a little egg. Yeah, shout out balloon to my cousin tossing, Michelle. Sarah she, and Danny Hayaskaya. Michelle and Danny, Michelle really and Emily like coordinated everything. That's they so cool. had like medals for the winners, first and second place. They had a tug of war between second and third place to win second place. Like it was all shout organized. Shout out to Terry, man. Terry O'Daniel. He gave me a medal for being best <laughs> nano Daniel. <laughs> no, no, the Daniel. Medal of Honor. Oh, bro, that fool Terry. He gave me a cool dude, bro. He looked like a. He he gave me a fucking medal. His medal broke for um first place, I guess. And um, and then one of the, one of the little motocross kids, bro, and the richest kids. You were in Team Green. <laughs> Calling me out, bro. <laughs> And then, anyway, so they, everybody yeah, the kids ha- pay attention to rules over they there. They had a, er, they had everything was te- everybody's team team name, and I wrote a bottom. I wrote a bottom. Yeah, man, I was team nap. <laughs> and then that lady Anne um, Cantrell, she she wrote next. She liked my comment. Went ah. Hilarious, dude. Yeah, she's almost eighty, I think. Then there was Wilma, bro, man. That, that lady, bro. 
She can make some peanut butter she fudge make in anything. five minutes. Oh, you guys said anything, that last bro. time uh, when you guys went to Jacksonville, right? She'll give oh, you a hug, bro, and then there's warm cookies on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Toma. Here you go. She's an angel. No, it's cool. Everybody's so accepting and welcoming, and it, it, this is like the third time we've done family reunion to de- together since 2017. Wow. And it's been cool. We might go there for Christmas and take Philip. What? He don't want to Yeah, go. we might ambush them. Sounds I'm not sure. Fun. What's up? <laughs> so oh, yeah. Said he don't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Philip, man. He was taking care of uh, slippers all week. Hey, happy birthday, dude. Thank happy you. birthday, man. How are you? 31? 30. 30. Oh, my shit, bad. dude. 30. Add another one, Nick. The big three. We'll give you an extra dude. one, Nick. Huh. Hell yeah, dude. That fuck could be your son, huh, Rizzo? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> dude? How old huh? are you? I'm, thir- I'm going to be 36 this happy year. Happy birthday to, to you. you. Come on. Green one over here in the middle. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to oh, you. Oh, those look good. Happy yeah. birthday. What? Oh. I'm gonna start again or what? Oh, Whatever, that shit died. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. So be careful. Hell yeah, take them all with you. Estas son las mañanitas. Mañanitas. Manganitas. Manganitas, dude. Yeah. Hey, dude. What are you guys singing, dude? We'll eat these. These are from Toluca Bakery and they weren't free. They were not. <laughs> those, they were not. You know, the they, best they, they did not pay for Toluca a, Lake. The the only vegan um panaderia in uh, in the valley. And it's Mexican old Mexican owned. people. Yeah, really? Mexican owned, yeah. They didn't look free, bro. They oh, dude. They switched entirely to vegan. They used to be both. Oh, what? they have everything, bro. Like any type of cookies you think the, the Mexican cookie with the little dots. Oh, they have yeah. a bunch of them. The, the little runners? white ones. Great the little corn white chunks, ones. Yeah. Anyway, today we went there, and I said, you know what? This is when I started stuff in my safe. I didn't eat till two, <laughs> right? But I ate a fucking um they, they had cheese and jalapeno um tamales. So man, I went home and I cooked a flour tortilla and I put that Lisa's green sauce on it. I put the some fucking beans and I put that tamale in the middle, bro. Roll that motherfucker up and ate it. Dale guys, wait. Bon. I'm gonna feel it later, big dog. What's up, Phil? Bon. What, what's that number? What's that number? Hey, um, People are calling in. What up? Who? Sign me up to um, TikTok Live and write down um, 323 and you. Write, and write down that number. Fool 61. Yeah. They could call in right there. Just um, look, what's up, Fool Live? Call in. We have a. Oh, for, for, before you do that, can you put the, the list of the shows, please? You want a beer? I'm good, dude. Are you? Yeah, I'm drinking some water. Are you, bro? July 21st, I'm coming to Las Vegas, Nevada, man. July 22nd, I'm coming to New York. July 26th, I'm coming to Montreal Comedy Festival in Canada just for laughs. Also, and I was was gonna say 28th is the podcast up there at the Montreal Canada. July 28th. Uh, Rodrigo will be there, but I, don't, I think he's gonna be he's gonna be there the whole time there too, right? No, he lands on the twenty seventh. They're All very right. strict about. Okay, who's Rodrigo, there man, when. he's in the Just for Laughs po- um, festival because of the podcast. So July twenty eighth, we're doing the What's Up Food podcast in Montreal. They're What's promoting the shit out of that. Hell yeah! And um, August third through August sixth, Oxnard, California. August tenth through August thirteenth, San Jose, California. The the Improv. August 18th, Ledyard, Connecticut. August 19th, Boston, Massachusetts, and Wilbur Wilbur. Theater. Oh, man. If you're asking, Rizzo will be there in Connecticut and Massachusetts. So let him shout out to him, bro. He's never been there, huh? Never, dude. Rodrigo, we're going to go eat at that place again, bro. The fucking Veggie Galaxy, bro. And the um, vegan French toast. I think Full Charge is going to be on those shows, maybe, too. Who said? Well, you said. You said, <laughs> don't get mad at me. Nah, Plug in the charger, eh? <laughs> What's up, fool? Two What's trains that? for him. <laughs> Felipe'sWorld.com. <laughs> He's taking the train over there. Yeah, what's up? That was me. Hey, fool, you were saying that you were watching the stuff of uh, Augusto Pinochet, a movie? Yeah. The uh, Dictator from Chile? Saw. No, uh, it wasn't Saw. Not Saw. It was uh, trauma. trauma. And what, that movie was hardcore? Fuck, yeah. The the first, the first um, five minutes, you want to turn it off already? Cause I looked at I looked it up on the bootleg and I couldn't find it, dude. Might not be called trauma. <laughs> What's called trauma? <laughs> trauma <laughs> way. <laughs> Calling guys. Three two oh, yeah. three. You fool. Hello, six hello. one. What's up, fool? Oh, somebody's on the phone line. What's up, fool? What's up? Who's this? 
What's up, fools? Jesus Navarrete. Oh, shit. Hey, what's Jesus, up, dude? how are you? Oh, what's Jesus. up, dog? Yeah, Hang up, bro. We need new callers. I'm just kidding. What's up, bro? How was your 4th of July? Oh, shit. Hey. Cool, cool, man. Hot. Right here, just hot. Watching the fireworks. That's it. Where at? Back to work today. And then what's up? Oh, shit, dude. Illegal fireworks for sure, dude. Man, my brother had yeah. $1,800 worth of fireworks. What? And he nailed these mortars all to this board, like, lined it all up. There were still boxes. I was getting tired looking at those boxes. Like, I can't watch that many fireworks. There's so many. Light them up. And there we go. Look, sideways. that's what right there, bro. Well, that was over there. And, uh, yeah, play it. Is that from Danny's page? Oh, okay. Oh, no, from Felipe's. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's that's that night. I was sitting there. Those were the fireworks. The screamers there. Also pretty. Hey, those are Disneyland fireworks, bro. They were some badass Damn. fireworks. Right there in their front lawn, which was like, I don't know, 100 yards from the. Oh, yeah. The fireworks in California are all street. zesty, huh? <laughs> zesty, westy, homie. <laughs> We couldn't see any. We were in the backyard last night. We we're like, well, let's go back there and like try to catch them before we go to bed. And we could hear them. We could see smoke, but the party was happening in uh, P um, Pacoima with Silmar. What's yeah. up, Jesus? Nothing much. Hey, um, hey, are you guys ever going to go to the to the uh, the last factory, the new one in Covina? West Covina, we walked by it the other day. In, West Covina. In Covina, the one in Covina. Yeah, Covina. Oh, Co it's not West Covina, it's Covina? Covina, yeah. yeah. You don't yeah, offend the West Covina, Coviners. Yeah, the <laughs> How far apart are they? Ten minutes? Yeah. <laughs> like, West Covinas? <laughs> yeah, West Covinas, dude. Uh, yeah, I know we walked by it recently. Carlos, 323U461. What's up, man? How was your 4th of July? Did you lose a finger? <laughs> How many fingers did you lose, bro? No, 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 no I just watched Illegal fireworks for sure, huh? That fool didn't enter the orgy, huh? Damn. Was that like on your block or on your street? Yeah. In your backyard? Yeah, in the block. Yeah. Are there still it's prostitutes a, on the Kogi Boulevard? What? What's that? What happened? Shout out to the homie husband, Felipe, on TikTok. Orale. I'm not on TikTok. Who's the homies? Okay. Jesus. <laughs> What's up, right, bro? bro? Did you get labor? Did you get, ha <laughs> did you get a hand job, dude? What's hey, going on, dude? Thanks for you calling, dog. Are you under cardiac calling. arrest? Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking, get rid of you, dude. Okay, Jesus, dude. <laughs> He's next door, right? He's so active uh -huh. in the chat. You don't have yeah. anything to say on the phone. It's different when you get on the road. Oh, we had a, we had like, a podcast oh. listener oh. and... um, oh. We had a podcast <laughs> listener and... um. And uh, I Toledo. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say London. the one that had the Trump. I support Trump oh jacket. Oh my god, he had like a colors vest. Yeah. Oh, He's yeah, coming yeah, back, homie. man. Forty five, like now forty seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Some fools believe, huh? It, it had like yeah. R.I.P. in his his term. It's me, years, twenty twenty, twenty sixteen. What's up, fool? Mario. Holy shit, hey bro! I was on your TikTok. I saw the number. I really didn't think that was gonna work. Who Who's did? this? Oh. Who is it? And this is Yo soy Alfonso. Alfonso from Alfonso. where, bro? I'm from Sacramento. What's up, dog? He's in Sacramento. Sacramento. He's in Sacramento. I can't believe you got in. Hey, Look at my big smile, bro. bro. On TikTok. You're at the Capitol right hey, now. Fanta, oh, on, on TikTok, I'm Kingism24. I just posted a video of me drinking a beer stick. Beer stick? A beer skis. What's a beer stick? Do you... Pile uh, beers on top of each other. Oh. It's 24 ounces of beer. You drink it with pressure. But I okay. Homie. I work 14 hours a day. This is my first day off. He so congratulations. It's like a, so it's like doing a beer a bong? Do a cyclone, homie. Hey, you're the liver king, homie. No, no, no. I already beat a people doing the beer bong, the cyclone, and the shot. Uh, what's it called? The shotgun where they put a hole in it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Describe cool. it. What is a beer stick? Describe it. Yeah, are you men a pelan with all those? Man, I'm oh, sorry, I didn't. I'm in a pelan. You can see that. Pela to the homie. You can suck it. So, how do you add the pressure, dog? Yeah, where does the pressure come from? From myself. Como soy single, yo solo. Suck on it, homie. Ain't no one here single. Wait, what? Hey, dude. It's because it's like, imagine a big syringe. God, whoa. Hey, whoa. Oh, I see that uh, one. Oh, like oh, that. Oh, see it? Okay. Look, dude. Yeah, yeah, That's a yeah. mean so, white girl work, drink like, right there, huh? Woo! Hey, hold that kawama. Okay, kawama, so, dude. Yeah. 24 dude. ounces of beer inside of it. I'm in Havasu this weekend, guys. <laughs> hey, guys. The, the mess up part. Tubing, bro. <laughs> Tubing in. My sister owns so beer trailers. So oh, there's wow. like 10, 15 kegs out there. It's yeah. dangerous out here. <laughs> Sacktown, baby. What do you do for a living? 
I'm a trucker. Okay. All right, bro. He was Good working like you. 17 hours. Right there, all tired of those lot lizards. Well, thank you, bro, for calling in, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm so proud you got in. Gracias. God bless you. No, neta. Hey, it's a. You don't know how long I've been watching your comedy. Eres un rey, güey. Gracias, güey. Yeah. Gracias. I'm not worthy. No, a ti, a ti, gracias. Mucho gusto. I can't wait to see you in Sacramento next time I'm there at the Crest or in Weed, California. Hey, neta, I'll show up, bro. Gracias, bro. We'll call, see you there. We'll call off. Call I off. You have to. Bring the stick, stick, fool. PTO, bro. Bring the beer stick. Hey, si lo traigo, wey, you got to beat me. I'll do, I'll, do one, I'll do one but after the I'll, show, not before. Though. I'll be down, dude. Yeah. <laughs> no, we'll do it after. Yeah. And then play a game of Dizzy Bat. Like yeah, we did I'll, do, I'll do one. We'll have Bochy Escobar, bro. Take a fuck. <laughs> I don't know if I know side clothes, but I'm down for a hurt. Mucho gusto, bro. <laughs> Keep I'm going to send trucking. some hearts your way. Hey, good looking. Yeah, man. <laughs> Respectful. Yeah, dude. Hasta luego, Hasta luego, carnalito. You see TikTok? This guy called in right now and he was talking to us. If you want to call in and chit chat about 4th of July, make a dream get, come so, get something off your head. Oh, shit. We're making dreams come true right now. Come on, call in. <laughs> Never be yeah, like sound, homie. What's up, fool? Who's this? Mario from Atlanta. Oh, you oh, got up? in. Somebody said you were yeah. first in line. What's up, bro? So that jujitsu though. <laughs> the stenographer right here, dude. That's what I want. I want my gold belt. Your daughter won too, right? And your wife? Yeah, All three of you guys won. Oh, That's yeah, crazy. You guys are the Incredibles. What's, what's up, champ? You don't want me diminishing his award. Congratulations. Hell Mario. yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. What's up with you, man? What's up, bro? Let's get some likes here on TikTok and and, and uh, YouTube. Come on, man. How's your Fourth of July, Mario? Pretty good, fool. I was fucking watching, uh, just doing the fucking fireworks and watching fucking movies. Fool shooting his gun, huh? The Sandlot? Nah, I wasn't <laughs> shooting my gun. I wanted to tonight. <laughs> Where do you go to shoot in Atlanta? Gun What's range? That? You have to go to the gun range for What's Atlanta up? shooting. Yeah, the shooting range. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I go. I, I try to go like a lot, like as much as I can. But lately, I've been dealing with a lot of kid shit and bullshit. And... Practice but makes yeah, perfect. Yeah, I take my daughter normally with me shooting. Damn, she's little, dog. She's eleven. She's been going for like a year already. American sniper, dog. For a little ridge, I saw that for shooting a cannon, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, RJ, you mean? Yeah. Uh, LR, what's his name? He's two. He could barely walk. <laughs> like 15 months. That's how I started shooting Look, that, too. Toe head. Look up toe head. T O E head. He's, you ever heard toe head? Never. That's the white hair. How he and his brother are both white hair. Toe they head. like white hair until a certain age. A lot of blondes. They're toe head kids. And they're all just real. Look, see, there's toe head right there. Like super white hair. <laughs> Strange. Powder. Yeah. Well, not really, but yeah, their hair is super white. He's the leader of the House of Commons. There's another name for him. Cottonhead? No. There's another name. I can't remember. Cotton Hill, baby. Who's shout Colin? Out, shout out to the, the Mario, Toledo Funny Bone, man. Hell yeah. Arcade. Did you play any video games? I played uh, yeah, Indiana dude. Jones. That was cool, That man. was hard, dude. Joust. They had Joust there. <laughs> I love Joust. The old games are hard, man. Right here with Space Mario. Invader, dude. Who's there? Tongue of the land by the line. What's up, fool? Who's this? Thanks for calling, Mario man. Mario, Mario. Oh. Mario. Oh, yeah, dude. He's drawing, man. He's <laughs> <said Mario, laughs> Mario, The sonographer, homie. He's like fizzled out. Sorry. They made dormis this way. See way. <laughs> you guys, when you guys uh, get on Hello the calls, come here. with that fucking uh, heat. <laughs> something, <guys>. something. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. that How'd you sneak up on the <laughs> line, dog? <laughs> Beam is a butthead, bro. Fucking, e <laughs> fucking eavesdropper over here, bro. What the uh, fuck uh, was that? Uh, all, hell yeah. All horny, bro. Oh, I'm calling the cops, bro. That's like Uncle Ron, eh? <laughs> See, wait, don't hurt me the way. Show me on the doll where Uncle Ron touched you. <laughs> What's up, fool? What's up, fool? Who's, Who's this? this? Ramon, come on down. Ramon, Ramon El Mamon Ramon Herrera Que onda Que onda bro Where you from <laughs> Where you know you He's the prop maker The prop yeah. maker bro What's yeah. up But from where again LA. Is this shit Hollywood Hollywood The same He's fucking people LA. call The same people get through <laughs> What's up with that no Just like don't you think, no, We only have three no listeners No wonder bro. nobody thinks This shit is right huh. Nobody yeah. thinks It's an algorithm bro People think it's fake Not got rhythm Like Felipe says you. It's cause you wanted it Cause you wanted it You wanted it Bro. We wanted it. A hey, um, rhythm, happy dog. birthday to the birthday boy. Hey, Philip, dude. Philip, happy birthday. Dude, hit his cash yeah, app, homie. 
Go get a cupcake over there. Yeah, man. Over there. You get a cupcake? Up. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get a cupcake. I'll, I'll send, him, I'll send him some props. Strawberry. <laughs> Strawberry, Martin. You're going to send him some cabrón. props? Thanks, bro. You want props. What's your favorite prop you've ever made, Ramon? For, um, what, for what movie? That, the show. The show, show that I did for Wakanda Forever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The, the concha. The, the concha. concha. That I made. That's cool. And then um, recently I did some stuff for Thunderbolts. For, um, oh, I don't want to talk about it. Um, for, it's a new, it's a new, it's Marvel's response to Suicide Squad. Oh, yeah, like a bunch of, who's, in, who's, who? Like, it's, um, it's all the misfits, it's, um, the Winter Soldier, hey, that, um, ha- big ass, the big Russian dude from, from, um, Cyclops? Black Widow, the dad. Cyclops? Oh, oh. Um, the Russian, uh, what's his name, dude? He's he's badass. The Putin. Dad. Putin. He's from David, uh, David something. He's from Stranger yeah. Things. Yeah, he's oh he's David bad. Harbor. Yeah, Harbor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Harbor. Hooper, right? Um, his name's Hopper. Um, Hopper. Um, his name's David Harbor. Y- Yelena. Good. Yelena, Black Widow sister, the oh, little yeah. blonde chick. Uh huh. Her cool. and then um like these other two like weirdo characters like new characters um but it's like the misfits the sidekick oh is this for the new I show work. the for marvel uh, the for DC, thunderbolts the, the yeah. thunderbolts yeah yeah so it's like also the girl from uh ant-man right the how come they yeah, don't have one girl... oh, go ahead yeah we've been doing those how come wow. they don't have a uh, dc like the jan and zana jan Dan... jan and zana right jan and zana the twins wonder twins yeah Oh, How come they the don't have a movie twins. of those two? They or fuck each other. They should, no, come on. They should have a <laughs> they movie. They were in of the, the, the Marvel movie. movie. They were? Yeah. Marvel? But they're DC mm-hmm. characters. No, no, no they were Justice in um, League. Justice League movie. Oh, they were? Well, they were, right? Yeah. I oh, think I didn't see them. They just have, like, yeah. They, but they're they were from small part. I'll admit I avoid but superhero look it movies up, these up. days. <laughs> but they just got their, they got their little, the like, Wonder Twins. Like, origin story? Their formula figured out, so they don't go with those interesting characters. They go with whatever makes yeah, them money. Yeah, whatever makes them money, especially internationally. Yeah. Honestly, the Flash. Yeah, anything they don't oh, really like, have to have a lot of translation. Because all they get, all they're gonna get is two, two um Dana twins, Dana twins that look from fucking New Zealand, two Maoris who are twins or and is on. Yeah. But also, yeah, uh, what about it. Mr. Mixelplick? Is he gonna be like a bad guy in that? Remember that guy, Mr. Mixelplick? Mixelplick is the guy you have to say his name. Yeah, you, you have, have to, say, to his make him name say his name backward or something yeah. like that, right? Yeah, you have to make him say like his name Shazam? and he'll disappear. He's yeah. like um, he's like a fucking like Adam, like um, like a duende. He's like an elf. He's kind of like, yeah, he's like a, but he's kind of like the Joker, like their version of the Joker, I guess, kind of like he would always. Yeah, how about like Kali Man? Like a, Kali Man. Like a like a like, a, like, like always menacing, shit. doing dumb little pranks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How about a Mexican superhero, bro, Kali Man? Yeah, it's funny. Well, like they the, got the blue beetle. They got the blue beetle coming out yeah, soon, Felipe's but they're not even that. promoting yeah, it. Yeah, dude. Felipe's in that little blue beetle, August nineteen. Can't wait, dude. We we did we did the guns for that. I did the guns for that. <laughs> Oh, did you have dude. a gun on your uniform? Yeah, but it didn't come out of the holster. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we we did we you, did all those. You um, did that gun. Look, the one that didn't come out like, of the holster. We did. The, they look like fucking dust devils. Why did they make a movie with Latinos and all your weapons look like fucking vacuums? Hey, oh, dude, my, my and you son, didn't say yeah. nothing right there making the costumes, huh? We like to my son's up. <laughs> no, like the, <laughs> when we were when we were making the, all the guns, the guns looked like fucking cleaning appliances. <laughs> they didn't look like. Did like they ask for that, weapons. or that was your guys' conspiracy uh, theory? No, the people the people at DC who designed them, they designed them that way. But I kept mentioning to them that, like, why did like a Latino movie? Have to have the weapons look like fucking <laughs> dust devils. They we want, want a clean movie. Guys. We want a clean movie. Okay. <laughs> See you. Yeah. It's just funny. It's just funny. It's just a funny observation. There's nothing. Quick question. Dirty, what do you What do you make the guns out of, dude? Polyester. Um, three D three printers. Printed if they're the hero, the hero ones, Hell the yeah. ones like for the 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 main shots are three D printed. And then you guys and paint them the and stuff and add stuff to them. Yeah, and then all the stunt stuff is all rubber, and there's three different like types: hard, and soft, 3D, and like really soft, like spongy. 3D yeah. printing blows my mind. Like mm-hmm. I don't think I'll ever figure it out. The way I'll never figure out how sound gets onto a record just by engraving little. I know that's little so etching weird. little yeah. sketch things into vinyl. How the fuck yeah, does that, sound get put in there? That's the coolest. It? It's but little, you it's can hear the language. record if you put it's your ears like to the turntable boxes, without the headphones. But, yeah, it's, it's the best. It's crazy. It's a little pattern. But I still will never figure out 3D printing. And yeah. Like, and I used to work in that nonsense. And it's crazy. Yeah, I, like, I, I, I can't I wrap my head around it. It's amazing. Damn. 
Yeah, they model, they do all these things. The Ukrainians are using them to make ghost guns out there. Yeah, well, right now, that's, you know, Russians. remember that, I think it's Con Air. I don't know what, what it is, where John Malkovich goes onto the plane, but he passes through TSA because he has plastic bullets and a plastic gun and everything. Yeah. No, it's a, movie, it's a Patriot, right? Patriot. Or it's so a, he's going Harrison through, Ford stops him. Yeah, he go, he's going through, but all the stuff is plastic and it just passes through with no problem. Or he puts some of it, in, I think, like in the like, little key. You put your key. John you Malkovich trying whatever. to kill Clint Eastwood. Yeah, but yeah. It, yeah. It, but I was like, Magneto. that's, that's, that's going to happen in the future. And then here 3D printing comes around and I heard about people printing guns. And yeah. um, that's how they. It's already here. It, What's his and name gun, in gun Green? components, so you could make Story a suppressor if you need to. Yeah. Suppressors are illegal, but you could yeah. make one. With yeah, plastic like, or like. MS MS thirteen could like use three D printers and mean you can't even fucking play Super Mario Brothers. God damn, dude! <laughs> dinner, dinner, dinner. Can't get my Netflix login. Three D print some yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's, and, and that's they're, on like, you, dog. Guns with that shit. <laughs> Uh, it's just like the cartel hiring pharmacists, you know, or they're like buying a pharmacy. We're gonna make this or, now. Or Dr. the Simi, dude. now running. They run call centers now. Yeah. Like what the fuck? Like, oh, I just like, read. Hey, what, are you, just, what are you wearing? Hey, I just read an article about gun. these car, call center employees who were found. I think forty-five yeah, bags like, of human remains. Are you happy with your cable? And then if you're not, they just fucking come kill you. They're like I think they brought them in to so they roped those call center operators into like a fraud scheme or something like that. And oh they yeah, they're them. making them. They're making them like run all yeah. those insurance frauds and then they're like probably selling swamp. Getting like numbers and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. About that. Swampland, remember? <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> All right. Thanks, <laughs> Ramon, for calling yeah, in. All right, you guys. <laughs> in the line Have of a fire. Good night. Thanks, good night, man. Somebody said that movie was in the line of fire. In the, the line, line of fire. fire. Good movie. Yeah. One of those, I want a ninja. I just always suit. remember that scene. He goes through TSA, or what, it wasn't even TSA back then. It was private uh, companies, right? I were. went through with my mace. This is before 9 11, but I threw, went through with my pepper spray and my mace, and I, I just had my keys. I just put them in the key bowl, passed through, grabbed my keys. They the had the mace West, on it, and never uh, checked. Those Weird. terrorists fucked up rom com movies, dude. You can't even go fucking. Who's here? Bueno. Holy shit. Bueno. What's up, fool? Who's this? Holy shit, bro. Hey. It's Butch, dog. McLeod. Butch McLeod. Butch McLeod. What's up, uh, fool? Hey, I'm, bad. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm not as cuckoo as my comments, bro. He's high. Real, he's, low, he's high. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he said he was high. Yeah, I'm sedated. High. He said, I'm butted yeah. out. <laughs> I'm hella buddy. How y'all doing, man? Good, man. And you? Good, bro. Um, hi. Butch, did you say you were uh, raised by Latina or you are half Latino? Yeah, pretty much. Oh. Yeah, pretty much. But you're, yeah, but you're Irish? <laughs> are you Irish or Scottish? I'm Irish. I'm a butt. I'm yeah. like everything. Portuguese, Me too, bro. Irish, Scottish. Oh, because you're in the Bay, so you got some Portuguese. Nah, Portuguese but sausage, like my, my friends, Mama Maria up the street, she raised me because my parents would go gambling and just leave the kids. Mama Kiki. Like me, I'm I'm the kid. So you're you're they, in Napa? They told me when... El Nino. Say what? You're in the Napa area, right? Nah. Or no? Nah, nah, San Francisco. I'm a garbage man in San, San Francisco. Francisco. Hell yeah, dude. Sanitary man. But... <laughs> Yeah, nah, not really. I shop for goodies. You'd be amazed how much good shit people throw away, bro. <laughs> it's on your house, dude. <laughs> hey, he's, you sound kind of no, you sound kind of like I, Bigfoot I, on Howard Stern show, the other Bigfoot, the one that says "Yon is <laughs> name." Yeah, yeah. Uh, man, at first when I started there, my garage was full, no room for my car. But I'm like, fuck all this shit, man. <laughs> He's like Bob but, from uh, La Bamba, huh? like when he found the <laughs> the paintings, <laughs> Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I take hella shit thinking I'm rich. I grab a, a spoon that looks silver and it's not worth money. Yeah. From Danny. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. I, I, I remember when yeah, um, I knew a guy that like, was a, tra there. a guy that was uh, trash man. He used to find guns all the time. Really? That'd be badass, dude. dog. Dude. Babies. Hey, you think those guns were used in a crime and just tossed? Not. The one that killed Kennedy. The police, the police guns, you know? throw away <laughs> guns, dude. Like a lot, a lot of comedy careers are found in trash cans. <laughs> yeah, dude. A lot of notebooks. <laughs> a lot of bad jokes, huh? Hey, dude. Hey, dude. I have you actually had a notebook, bro? Respect for all you fuckers, dude. <laughs> like, fuck, dude. Like, going on planes here, there, there. No Two hours sleep. Miedo, Ramon said if my weed had a voice, dude, it would be this crazy. one. <laughs> <laughs> The bud that talks. Hey, nah, but what happened, man? You know, I, like, like you know, every honky like me says, you know, I was. 
I'm like a hockey I player, my bro. parents there. I don't know why I do they're, that. they're like, oh, you know, God. hey, hey, watch my kid Maria change your brakes. You know what I mean? <laughs> the bartering and, uh, system. They started teaching me Spanish, but they would call me Maricon and tell me <laughs> it means that. Oh no, me you're too, American. bro. So, so I go around telling everyone. Two oh, butchers were Maricons. Damn, dude. Laugh. Those I are two macaroons. Two macaroons. <laughs> Bush would mean Maricone Mar- 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 Spanish. Uh, <laughs> his bully no, called him I that. No, so later I would say, oh, I'm a maricon, and people would laugh at me. Man, the Dominican saying, guys. I'm American. The Dominican guys in New York, they used to call each other, although these are all cooks and bus boys, and they call each other mariconazo. Damn. The, uh, the tip top uh, one, huh? Maricon- the leader. Mariconazo, like you're. Big ass, yeah. You hear on Carlitos way? Uh, You're just a Monaco yeah, motherfucker. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Easy, bro. Marconi's, dude. So I only speak Spanglish, you know what I mean? I, you know, like it's not nothing new, but you you speak English, bro, <laughs> yes, and like uh, and, and like with an accent, from, that's me. Like we're talking Charles Bronson here. Right? Who is this English, fool, dog? Do you want to go to the store? Like they're gonna like understand that. I roll my arms, but yeah, I hook this guy up with that chain, bro. Okay, watch me climb. We gotta get you, uh, away, bro. Are you married? Don't trip, are you married, fool? Butch? I think he has a wife. Nah, man, I got oh. a chihuahua. Oh, you want? Hey, we're gonna <laughs> hook you up with Don't Trip if she's still Same alive. Thing. We're gonna hook you. We're gonna hook you up with Don't Trip, bro. <laughs> she's Wherever she's here. at, no, chilling. In, I, I ran into day. her on, in East man, LA. Uh, he Where, bro? Yeah. bro. He said I'd rather pet a porpoise. Nah, well, dude, pet dude. her, bro. Same nah, thing. Dude, gonna... What's up, Boo <laughs> Podcast? Bush McLeod, man. Thank you for calling in, Bush. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me not take much of your time up. Thank you right. for calling, Good man. Good night, Bush. Call take care. Him. I don't even know. It's right. always a treasure with you, bro. I think Bush McLeod was at the family reunion, bro. <laughs> Bush McLeod. He... That was me, bro. Ready to shit. <laughs> His voice is very ambiguous. He could Who's be next, anything. guys? Call. There's a number on the screen. The troll that pops out. You don't want to do that on me. Y carnalito. <laughs> you fool 61, guys. That's it, eh? Call <laughs> motherfuckers. One more and then go. On this time. What a time is it? Nine nine, nine nine Where are you? Come on, where he is. I'm right behind you. One more. ¿Qué está pasando, güey? One more call. Come on. Come on, guys. Don't be. Oh, shit. Oh, is that a stone over here? Now. Oh, shit, dude. Spam caller? Yeah. Go ahead. Spam caller. <laughs> Spam Asubi. Oh. Who is it? Yo, yo, yo. What's up, fool? What's up, fool? This is Tito. Tito. With a little Pito. What's up, bro? <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Don't pull it out again, dog. Don't be making no gritos, dog. <laughs> Over here, solito. From Atwater. Atwater. Oh, Atwater. Shit. What's up, bro? I used to live on Brunswick. Tunerville. Yeah, across the street from the liquor store. Right? Yeah, right there. Tunerville, bro. What you know about that? Hey, careful, careful. <laughs> Atwater. Dude. You ever go to Tamsil Chanter? Have you ever no. been to Tamashan? No. <laughs> I heard of it, bro. It's a I Disney's. I pass by it all the time. But I've never been in it's there. It's Disney. It's supposed to be Disney's favorite restaurant. Yeah, it looks like the yeah. same look. It's like German. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. Irish, but it looks German on the outside. I pass by a couple yeah. times. Yeah. Hipster now. Been yeah, there with Mondo, eh? Just the, like Red Lion got a hipster. That's the. You're talking about. That, that place you're talking about is right there by Del Taco? Yeah, it's right there. Yeah. Right by Green yeah. Hall. Yeah, it looks like a cottage. All right, man. And Sizzler right there? Yeah. Um, I, know the da- I ran into the daughter of that place at Safeway a couple of times. It's some Armenian lady. She owns Tamashanter? Tamash- her dad, her family owns it. But um, she, I think she knew me from comedy, but we were talking at Safeway one time, and that's when I looked at the menu. Oh, my God, bro. They got meat. Oh, it's, it's like, like it's like Red Lion with the like, big old wieners. Yeah. Haggis, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah, they got They got some big shit. fucking steaks. So there they go. It's Scottish yeah. and uh, people yeah. order that shit rare as fuck, dude. Yeah, I've seen Scotch videos. Egg. I don't know if she's Armenian, but the I don't know what what um, um nationality the family but is. That's how order. you eat prime rib, though. You fool? sure they're not like, Scottish? Bloody she must be Scottish. Yeah. Then. I thought she was Armenian. But man, they got big steaks yeah. there, man. It's not carne asada, man. It's like that Seinfeld episode. You guys have chicken? Yeah, it, uh, it says <laughs> It's a full bird it, stuff yeah. with ham. <laughs> yeah, fucking mutton and a full bird stuff with ham, bro. And, and gorgonzola cheese. cheese. We got to go, man. Wellington. <laughs> you never been there? Never been there, dude. I've been to the Griffin, like, not too you far. You should go over there, bro. I have a big steak. Let me know how it is. 
We've been to the Red Lion. That's one of my favorite places. That's I a cool love bar. Red I Lion Tavern? I just love their beer garden. I love the shit, different yeah. floors. Red Lion Tavern? Yeah, yes, that's I a love that. place. I used to get fucked up. But I've been I there never many ate, nights. I could never understand people who can eat a sausage bar, without bread or something around yeah. it. Because that's gross to me. My daughter made a mess again. They just had a plate of like a big wiener, like a big old bra. I fucked that wiener up, bro. Or you get the assorted one that has every type, dude. Bro, that wiener... It's so good. It's has a the thick naked ass is skin, naked bro. It's like bratwurst, right? Gross, yeah. Right there with mustard right mm -hmm. here. Big bratwurst, fat awkward. pretzels, bro. Yeah. Let's go. And dude. also big fat titties, right? The, the waitress. Oh, yeah, man. They're all. Woo, yeah, man. <laughs> Woo. And there's other stuff to go with those titties. I don't think they're very. <laughs> yeah, they're not very appealing titties. They're like ant know. titties, but whatever. Yeah, the titties like a titty. Show titties. respect. The ant titties, bro. <laughs> Give it a like, bow. They're wearing later. I, I, I went there, bro. When, the right line right there? I went yeah. there when there was a, a guy line, performing, right. and all the songs uh, were in German, terrible, bro. bro. Horrible, right? <laughs> <laughs> we got kicked out for laughing, I think, into the school. <laughs> we did. <laughs> we tried no, to come back more than that. He said he broke a glass or something. But we tried to come back. We were gone, and they caught us. But they caught us like 45 minutes later. I'm already drunk, bro. And who we saw by neighbor's daughter there she acted like she didn't no know you dog. bitch <laughs> Dude, your dad doesn't even wear shoes and she just turned her head like that off dead on a date fool. is this the salvadorian's yeah. daughter that's Cerote's daughter. the guy that cut the grass that's the Cerote. Cerote. That's Cerote. That's Cerote. Cerote. that was serotita you know yeah man <laughs> they kicked us out for laughing at that guy singing german songs and then they would try to sneak into the beer garden and they caught us bro really because they out they had bands playing there too on top and then on the top dude they used like, to do comment the big ass before. beers is dog. this guy still here on the phone hey how you doing bro everything yeah. cool <laughs> what's up bro who yeah. is this this guy goes to the foster freeze right guy. there <laughs> <laughs> yeah fool. easy eh? who is this at water <laughs> This is Tito, huh? Oh, Tito, don't Atwater, forget dude. about Mito. <laughs> What's up, Tito, man? How's Atwater, bro? It's a hipstered out, bro. Freaking rent up the roof. How long what, have you been there? What do you expect? It's Los Angeles. Oh, Wake I've up, been bro. I've there for like 20 years. Bro, bro I, used to, I used to, when, I, when I was living right there on Brunswick, I was paying 500 bucks a month Fuck. for a bedroom, living room, a and a backyard. Shut up. Was it bigger than Denby? Cause yeah, it was that way bigger. Ben Denby was like a, cl a closet. No, it was way that bigger. pictures I've seen. Huh. You remember, yeah, Philip? Like it was big, right? It was a real traditional one. 500 bedroom. bucks? And a kitchen? I'm, I'm going to find one place like that, dude. No, not anymore, bro. Did they kick you out? No. And or then they had, um, I was living with Philip then. I was living with Philip and his mom. Oh, there. Okay. And then, they, you know, the the right there on the, on the mailbox, it was not a mailbox. It was a little door, and it had a little dial. To tell the milkman you need eggs, you need bread, what? and he'll put it in a little box. Old school. Damn, dude, that's badass. When America was America. <laughs> yeah, bro, but little by little, it started. To, it was it was a bad area to live, bro. And I was living there, bro. I mean, they right have, there you open it up, there's a dick. Huh? I, will, I, will, I will see people <laughs> fucking um, doing laundry or all PCP out, bro. Damn, dude. Yeah, that liquor store is great. That Chinese place used to be great. But then they fell apart. The Chinese buffet or whatever it's called. <laughs> it's ready. I mean, he knows the hook because they had beer at fucking Denny's right there, bro. But, uh, but that <laughs> that area in the in the nineties, that's like was like it wasn't slimy, but it was like a lot of cool shit was going on there because the BC boys lived there around that time. They, they lived by a, the. They lived in Silver Lake. They used to be a lot of cholas, bro. It was Daisy Dukes yeah. like so, bad vein legs? The Dust, Dust Brothers. Son? Dust Brothers had the one Dennis, up there on. Me. Um, over on uh, Rowena Hyperion. Yeah, that was Hyperion. That was the monster of Atwater, bro. Google it. Because I worked oh, for shit. some lady who owned a birthing center there, and they were in the back. The monster of Atwater. Look it up, people. Google it. It's a badass Wikipedia. Google it, guys. It's this. It's, it's Tito's homie. <laughs> Tito's <laughs> I know. You know who I'm talking about, right? Yeah. All right. You, did you know that guy? You lived there. Yeah, you lived there when the Acapulco was still there. Right? Hell yeah, bro. I lived in North Acapulco. And right in the corner, the guy used to cut hair. You know the guy that cuts yeah. hair right there? When the the guy the, the person that owned that building, they also owned the building across the street in the liquor store. When the pro property owner died, he gave everything to that guy, um, the Cuban guy that cuts hair in the corner. Who I thought was no. gay, but not gay. He's a big ass player. Yeah, there was no Chiba Hut back in the day. <laughs> nah. How yeah, was homie. <laughs> it was good, bro. <clears throat> yeah, what'd you do? What'd you do for the fourth, Rodrigo? Uh, we went to uh, the Slept mouse's. a bell together for rockets. Uh, we went to the yeah, mouse's house. I had to put it in a water heater before that, but we went from the t from 2 to like 9 p.m. Saw the fireworks and went home. Kept a Copacetic and chill. 
Nobody got too drunk. Got oh, a little yeah. buzz, Rodrigo, some Rodrigo shots. Rodrigo posted a couple of videos of fireworks. No, well, those videos were because we were going to go home, and then we seen like a big old extravaganza dog. <laughs> extravaganza. And I guess people homie. jumped into the intermediate school and just started shooting these cannons. Like, dude, like your brother. Was Everybody crazy. else's we're fireworks like, God, are better damn, than bro. Shit was going off. <clears throat> and then we just stayed there for a little while, watched them, and went back home, dude, in bed by like 1030, dude. Pico Rivera, I'm, I'm sorry, Pacoima was at war with our leader, California, <laughs> last night. It always yeah, blows we, up we, over we there, though, dude. We couldn't dude. see anything That's from insane. our van. Yeah, that was like point. September 15th right there in Mexico, huh? And those are like those fucking, That's like... That's what he was talking about last night. We were talking about That's how they do it. Independence Non-fucking Day. stop, dude. Non -st and, and they start like two days before, no, a week before, and then like they're going to still be blowing shit up like probably a couple I, days after. After a while, it's like, dude, enough. Yeah, we... Put us in Rodrigo, cabrón. when you go to Zacatecas, do we got running water or do you still have to go take a dump in the field? <laughs> this was a, a dump in the field. I don't know if you listened to the beginning of the See, podcast when that it, was bro. happening. That was in the ranchos in the 80s, but all of like the city of Zacatecas, whether it's like the main city, Fresnillo, even like all the surrounding it's ones have that. Nice. But if you go back over there, you know, you have the Tinaco system, you know, and like the ranches, but still, it's pretty much modernized. They import eggs yeah. and milk into the ranches now crazy yeah but before you would take a dump in the fields and you have to wipe your butt with a rock well dick <laughs> not, Damn, dude. but not in the fields bro no. wipe your, dude wipe your ass with a rock fool like how poor were you guys uh, bro rock you use a leaf i used to i was in pioneer camp as a girl scout and all Gosh. week you had to dig your own latrine you had to dig your own hole latrine, and latrine. Or that's my name hole. girl Look, you carry a spade with you. <laughs> I love spades. <laughs> you dig and a and hole. Come back, uh, come, you, come back oh my later. God, dude! Wait, what? What? So you would come back later, and a little tree will grow from there. No, I don't know about that. Maybe it's a lot of trees there. But yeah, we had uh, we had to dig our own latrine, go in there, and then cover it back up. And you didn't carry you. Some people carried toilet paper, but then you ran out of toilet paper eventually on that week. I've never taken leaves. a shoot without toilet paper. But yeah, you had to use leaves, it. and you had I to have. pick the right leaves. <laughs> otherwise, but sometimes you can't measure it out. You know, you get shirts, bro. We were only allowed one roll with us, the, and then some people ran out halfway through the week. <laughs> Are we still talk to Tito? <laughs> hey Tito, but like, let's like go Tito. Yeah, my dad would take me. My dad would take me to the field and he'll give be like, keep the keep the the pigs away before they come and eat the shit. Uh huh. Oh my God, dude, you guys are like, nah, fuck it, dude, let's fuck the pig, eh? I remember, bro, I took a dump at somebody's house, bro, a crackhead house, and I just wrapped it up and. <laughs> I found a shirt, wrapped what it right the there. Dude, what the fuck? Dude, what? But I bet you it smelled so bad in there that it didn't even matter, huh? They didn't know. Nah. <laughs> Is that from personal experience from the closet? The stuff you stuffed in the no, closet? No, no, not from that. But <laughs> like, I've been to places that like that. <laughs> we just like open it up and there's like an old shit that's been petrified inside of a newspaper. Oh, and you petrified. know somebody just duked it up, oh. wrapped it up, and just left it behind the couch. That's Show like, that video, Philip. That's like when my brother, I, did, I took a dance class when I was a kid and we did yeah. it at a different location. My brother and my mom come in to pick me up. My brother goes to use the restroom. My mom comes to me and says, we got to go now. And I said, why? We got to go now. And we finally go. And I found out my brother had diarrhea all over that oh, restroom. No. And they wrapped it up in the rug that was around the toilet. They wrapped all the shit up in the rug and just stuffed it in the corner. What else could you do? <laughs> I would just left. I made a it. mad dash and I never went back to that class. It really, you were being a. So ah. I had bad diarrhea a couple weeks ago, dude. <laughs> did you shit on the road? So the hair looks like you did, bro. I, 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 had, to stop, I had to stop at McDonald's and I. I was fucked this in Milwaukee? Shit. No, I was oh, going to go Fresno and I fucked that shit up, dude. And I was telling, uh, <laughs> when I was driving with Narcisse, like, dude. When you get when you get food poisoning from a taco stand, you kind of like want to just you kind of become uh, conservative. You want to check fucking permits, hey, bro? <laughs> You're supposed to be here, dude. Right? Yeah. You're trying to wake up, huh? <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> You're an ally, I forgot. <laughs> I am an ally, homie. All right, let's wrap it up. You ready? <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. I'll see you. All right, right food. Thanks for calling, bro. Tito. No more rocks, bro. What's up, food podcast, man? Thank you, everybody, for listening. Shout out. Oh, sure. You got that video from the picnic? Yeah. Play it. Make it big. Memories like the corn. There it is, bro. There's a picnic right there. They had like three videos he did. <laughs> you guys were at camp, dude. It, it was. was. Everything was organized, man. They had sack race. They had the carry the egg race. They had. Um, you can see my big ass out there walking around, bro. They had three legged <laughs> race. <laughs> they had dizzy bat. They had water balloon I'm fight. a white t-shirt. They had all these challenges, man. 
Giving it to whoever shredding, dude. Black Cat said her brother did the running man. I don't think he did, but he's always on the edge of doing running man. And this wasn't a fam this was a family event. It wasn't like it was like a like a this it looks very family. organized. I know. With the cones that's and my cousin. That shit, that's my cousin Michelle. It, this is like some parks and rec kind of shit I know. right here. Yeah. It was all organized, but no professional. This is Michelle. I told her she should start an my event. My mom told her they would have been telling shit stories about their sons. <laughs> <coughs> no, they, everything was planned and yeah, uh, organized. Me. You're not in this one, I don't I'm think. I'm there somewhere. There? Standing. You were there around that time? I was That's asleep right. on the downstairs right now. That's, at this point, it's gone. There's Madison's boyfriend. Alex. Some of these aren't family members. That's Ridge right there. Ridge, bro. That's What's like, up, brother, Paul, David. That brother David? We're Little Ridge. <coughs> Right, man. Right, Thank bye, you, everybody. guys. Yeah, man. Good night. Oh, yeah. See you guys later. Bye. That was a cool oh, 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 oh.